Hello everyone, this is Pastor Sean from Christians Unite, and this is another edition of Reading Through the Bible. On today's edition of Reading Through the Bible, we're going to be looking at Hebrews chapter 4. Now God has left us the promise that we may go in and rest with him. Let us fear then, so that none of you will be found to have failed to go into that rest. For we have heard the good news, just as they did. They heard the message, but it did not do them any good, because when they heard it, they did not receive it with faith. We who believe then do go in and rest with God. It is just as he said, I was angry and made a vow. They shall never come in and rest with me. He said this even though his work was finished from the time he created the world. For somewhere in the scriptures, this is said about the seventh day. God rested on the seventh day for, from all his works. This same matter is spoken of again. They shall never come in and rest with me. Those who first heard the good news did not go in and rest with God because they did not believe. There are then others who are allowed to go in and rest with God. That is shown by the fact that God sets another day, which is called today. He speaks of it many years later by means of David, and the scriptures are already quoted. If you hear God's voice today, do not be stubborn. For if Joshua had led the people into God's rest, God would not have spoken later about another day. As it is, however, there still remains for God's people a rest like God's resting of the seventh day. For anyone who goes in and rests with God will rest from his own works, just as God rested from his. Let us then do our best to go in and rest with God. We must not, any of us, disobey as they did and fail to go in. For the word of God is alive and active. It is sharper than any double-edged sword. It cuts all the way through to where soul and spirit meet to where joints and marrow come together. It judges desires and thoughts of men's hearts. There is nothing that can be hid from God. Everything in all creation is exposed and lies open before his eyes. And it is to him that we must all give an account of ourselves. So what these verses mean in chapter four is that we need to do our best to follow God's will while we are on earth. Because if we show that we do not believe and do not follow him, then we will not be able to rest with him in paradise. It says to fear because God does know all things. He knows every sin that me or you have committed. Every detail of our life, God knows it. And we're going to have to account for each and everything that we have done. Now, the next part of this chapter we're going to read in a minute um, does give some hope. Because those that are in God, in Christ, even though we've done those things, there is hope and forgiveness. Jesus, the great high priest, let us then hold firmly to the faith we profess. For we have a great high priest who has gone into the very presence of God, Jesus, the Son of God. Our high priest is not one who cannot feel sympathy with our weakness. On the contrary, we have a high priest who was tempted in every way that we are, but did not sin. Let us be brave then and come forward to God's throne where there is grace. There will be there we will receive mercy and find grace to help us just when we need it. So Jesus Christ pleads for our case to God because he understands how hard it is because when he was on earth, Satan tempted him several times to try to get him to fail, but he did not. He never sinned once. And even growing up and becoming a man and all that stuff, he went through every single thing that we did. 
He faced every temptation that we could possibly imagine, but he did not fail or waver. He was the only person on earth and mankind that never sinned. That is why he is a worthy sacrifice for our sins, because he did what we could not, and he died in our place. Even though we don't deserve it, Jesus Christ shows mercy because he understands us and he shows love and compassion because God loves you more than anything on this earth. Your mother loves you, but Jesus loves you more. Your father loves you, but Jesus loves you more. That's what we need to know today. Jesus' love is bigger than anything that you can imagine. We cannot understand the love that he has because it's bigger than our own understanding and the day that we die if our faith is upon Jesus Christ we shall be saved thank you for listening to this edition of reading through the Bible have a wonderful week we will see you again for topics